Hello guys, welcome to our today's lesson. Uh, today I'm going to look at uh, the area of the shaded region. And this time round we have two circles that are intersecting at uh, uh, that are intersecting and they have got a common code that is called EF. So we want to work out the area of the shaded region that is here in the middle uh, of um, uh, this uh, 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 figure that we have. Now we have two circles, like I have said, that are uh, intersecting uh, each other. Now we are supposed to calculate the angle EF, EAF, angle EAF, angle EAF. This is the angle that we are supposed to work out. And for us to be able to work out uh, the angle, we need to remember something. Um, the acronym uh, SOCATOA. SOCATOA is very important uh, for us to work out uh, the angles. Uh, we have been told that the code EF is 6 centimeters. So this uh, simply means that half of the code is 3 centimeters and the other part is 3 centimeters. Eh? Now we can go ahead and uh, divide uh, this um, um, angle like this and also divide angle C uh, the same way uh, I have divided angle A. Now we extract, we extract, uh, we extract uh, this part like this. Let us extract the angle that we are interested in. This is the angle. Uh, but remember, we have divided this angle into two halves. Eh? So the, uh, the answer we're going to get here, we must multiply that by 2 to be able to get the whole of angle A. Uh, so let us not forget that. Eh? And let us not make uh, any mistake. Eh? Mm. Now, uh, this is um, 3 centimeters and it is uh, under the opposite uh, side. And then uh, we have got uh, 5 uh, centimeters that is uh, on the hypotenuse side. Uh, so we are interested in this angle. Let us call the angle theta. We are interested in angle theta. Now for us to work out this angle theta, we will be able to um, go ahead and say that uh, we have uh, the opposite and what hypotenuse. Eh? So when opposite and hypotenuse are present, we are going to use uh, uh, the sign and say that uh, the sign, uh, sign theta, for us to be able to get the sign uh, uh, theta, we'll take uh, the opposite, which is 3, then we divide by 5, and uh, by so doing, we get the inverse of the answer. Uh, if we try to get that inverse of the answer, uh, it is going to give us, uh, the sine inverse of uh, 3 uh, over 5, uh, which is going to uh, give us uh, 36, uh, 36.87 um, uh, degrees. Uh, but remember, this is a half of A. Uh, now, for us to be able to get angle A, angle A, we say angle A, is now going to be uh, uh, twice uh, what we have obtained, eh? twice the angle we have obtained, eh? that is um, 2 times eh? uh, 36.87 um, uh, eh? degrees eh? is going to give us, um, is going to give us 73.7 um, uh, uh, 73 73.74 uh, degrees. Eh? So that is it. Eh? We have worked out the angle uh, EAF, uh, angle EAF, this angle here, angle A, and it is uh, that it is 73.74. Uh, uh, 73 uh, now let us proceed to angle, angle ECF, angle ECF. We are going to do the same. We are going to do the same. We extract uh, a triangle. Uh, from that part like this of course it is a right angle triangle the opposite is three centimeters and i put a news it's a eight centimeters we are going also to use uh, the sine rule and say if we get the sine uh, sine theta of um or if we get the sine inverse of uh, in fact uh, uh, three over eight that is the sine uh, inverse of uh, three over eight 
is going to give us the angle. But remember this time round, the angle we are getting is a half of the main angle. So the answer we get here, we multiply by 2. Uh, this answer is going to be 22.02 uh, 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 degrees. Eh? Now it is a half. We need to multiply by 2 and say that angle C is going to be 22.02 uh, uh, degrees. Eh? We multiply by 2, which is going to give us... Eh? Uh, it is going to give us a uh, uh, 44 uh, uh, point, uh, um, point, um, uh, uh, 0 watt, 04, or somebody can say point, um, uh, 0 watt, 0, 0 04, or 0 05. Huh? Let's say point 04, point 04 degree, degrees. Um, that is the angle uh, that we have obtained, the angle we have obtained. Now let us proceed to uh, the uh, last part of this question uh, that is uh, uh, saying calculate the area uh, between the two intersecting circles calculate the area between the two intersecting uh, circles eh? now this simply means that uh, 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 we work out the area of, uh, of the shaded region the area of what of the shaded region this is the shaded region that we have now let us call this, uh, uh, we can say, let's call this segment 1, or somebody can say uh, circle 1. Somebody can say this is circle 1, or segment 1. Uh, let me call it circle 1, and somebody can call this uh, uh, circle 2. So we want to work out the area of circle 1 and the area of what circle 2. Now let us have circle 1. Uh, uh, circle 1 here, we have the first circle here, and say for us to be able to work out the area of that segment, then we will have to say it is going to be theta over uh, 360 uh, uh, pi r uh, squared, then we take away the area of um, the triangle, which is a half a b sine what? Sine theta. So we are going to do the same with the second circle. We are not going to change the formula. The only thing we are going to change is uh, the sides and, of course, uh, the angles. Eh? Let us begin with the circle 1, uh, whereby we obtained uh, 73.74 degrees. We divide by 360 times uh, 22 over 7 times um, uh, the radius in this case is going to be 5 times 5 squared. Then we take away a half uh, times uh, 5 uh, squared, the sine of... Um, 73.74 now if you put this information in a calculator if you put this information in a calculator uh, it is going to give us uh, uh, this is this part is going to be uh, 16.09 uh, then we take away uh, 12 uh, which is going to give us a uh, 4.09 uh, square centimeters that is the area of what? Of circle 1. What about circle 2? We say circle 2, we do the same. Uh, this time round, we're going to change the angle, say 44.04. Then we divide by uh, 360 times uh, 22 over 7 times. Uh, the radius is going to change. And then we take away a half times a squared. And then uh, uh, the sine of what? The sine of 44.04. If you put this information also in your calculator, uh, this first part here is going to give us uh, uh, 24.61. Then we take away 22.25. We surely get uh, uh, 2.36 uh, square centimeters. So total area, or somebody can say uh, the area of um, uh, uh, the, 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 the area of the shaded region, say uh, total area. Now, the total area is going to be uh, the area that we worked out under the first segment plus the area of the second segment, which is going to be 4. Point, um, uh, which is going to be 4.09 uh, uh, plus 2.36. Uh, this is going to give us a total of 6.45 uh, square centimeters. And this is the area of uh, uh, the... Uh, uh, the shaded region or in other words the common area the common area is 6.45
Uh, thank you so much for watching.